Hey, end time watchman, I'm back. Uh, <clears throat> I know some of you are wondering, and some of you asked me to send something a while back on strategic shock and all that, and I just, I just ain't gonna be able to do it. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna get this person killed. You know, you're not gonna feed his family if I if I bring him out or send you the papers or whatever. You're not going to feed them. You're just going to say, man, I got this information. I was able to pass it on. Big deal, you, you know. But I'm not going to get this person killed. In order for you to see the documents that are in front of me, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I just ain't that way. I've never been in this for money, nor gain, nor popularity. And I've been in it to reach people, to let them know this is not a friggin' video game on Xbox. This is for real. So... Let me just say, don't, if you email me, hey, give me more information on this, I need this, copy it and fax it, I, I'm not going to do it. You either trust that what I'm telling you is the truth, or you deny it, and you don't worry about it, but I, I feel sorry for you if you don't take it to heart. It's just that simple. Let's move on. Some of the options were to intervene with whatever measures of force necessary or to allow burnout scenarios allowing chaos and rioting and unlawlessness to prevail, except in collateral damage. Now, the DOD, CIA, NASA, NSA, extensive satellite network has programming capabilities to monitor whatever, and I hadn't spoken on this much, but I will in the future. Whatever in the 10 FEMA regions has already been broke up. I don't care what you say. You don't got to believe me. That's fine. Becoming overtly hostile against the feds. This is highly sophisticated intelligence system that they will implement in protocol and responses according to the intelligence asserted. And you got to understand something. And the, and the things they ascertain. And I want you to understand, as I read these documents, okay, You've never heard me speak some of these words that are in these documents for number one. And number two, the intelligence of which these documents have come to me and they are, uh, and they are written out. You've got to understand that end time watchmen couldn't fake this crap and come up with it. This is the real deal. This very person is very highly intelligent and has been in and been face to face and rubbed shoulders and been involved in the very in the very highest levels. But like I said, you're not going to get the name and you're not going to get the documents because I have made a sworn secrecy to this person and by God, I'm sticking by my word. Let's move on. Oh, man. And see, they, 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 they have the option of placing their covert ops personnel on the ground in any of the 10 FEMA regions whose duty is to report and observe the activities. There's no doubt they would use specific force against those who rebel or refuse to submit to the new manner of the world government they desire to install. The highest command with uh, U.S. NORTHCOM is carefully placed to ensure loyalty and high confidence for compliance with orders to launch against any of the 10 FEMA regions with high precision. Oh, you better believe it. When you see that man up there in that high military thing, and you ever, you know, very seldom do you see the guy from Northcom and certain other people. They do not care about what you and I believe about the Constitution. They don't care. They are sworn to the New World Order just as you and I are sworn to to the Constitution, and to the Bible. So what you've got to understand is this. They made a fictitious scenario of, uh, and I'm not saying that the, that the Islamics are not dedicated to Allah. What I am saying is this. Okay. Please hear what I'm saying tonight. Don't run over this and say, well, man, hallelujah, you know, great video. Please hear what I'm saying. I don't care if you ever comment or not. The Islamics believe that if they can kill, and I'm not, 911 was the inside job. I know all that. I understand that. I'm not saying it wasn't. But they, I've studied the Quran, and they do believe they kill anybody that does not submit to Allah and, and, and does not go to the Islamic religion. 
And I'm going to say all this for a point to make a point about NORCOM and the, and the New World Order and the cronies that work for them. Okay? The Islamists have committed themselves to Allah and they believe if they die or blow themselves up to kill me or you, that's a Christian or, or whatever, that they will have 72 uh, virgins, black-eyed virgins in a river of wine that flows continuously. And they can screw when they get to heaven, they can screw all them virgins all they want to, and they can get drunk all they want to off the wine. Okay? That is a lie from the pits of hell, number one. And I don't feel like that I should waste my time on trying to convince or get in a fight with Islamics because they just want to be left alone to do their thing in the Middle East and they want to be left alone and, and the Western powers to be removed from there and I understand that. And if they want to think that they're going to get a river of wine, 72 black-eyed virgins, and they're going to screw them for eternity, if that's what they believe... Adios amigos. But number one, God is a spirit. They that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. They ain't going to be a bunch of screwing around and all that in heaven. Okay? So you're screwed and you're fooled. But saying, saying all that about that, is it, 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 they're dedicated to it. They believe it and that's their business. I believe there's one God, one mediator between God and man. That's Jesus Christ and no man comes to the Father except by Him. That's my belief. Okay? So but having said that, these people that work for the New World Order are just as dedicated as, a, uh, as an Islamic person is to Allah. Now my question to you is this. And I made a Jason Burmas video and he's a puppet is what he is. He, if he wasn't, or he's too dang young and dumb to figure out what he said and he shouldn't have said tonight and rebuked that guy. But in any event, uh, and I understand I... I take in consideration of people being young, and I know there's a lot of people like Manjin Militia, and he's young, and, and he's got more sense than Jason ever thought about having. But we won't go down that road because I don't have time for it, see. I'm not going to get caught up on this arguing back and forth about Jason's this, Jason's that. I just put the freaking truth out there. If you want to look it up for yourself, go back and listen to the interview. You can just download it or whatever. But anyway, these people are dedicated. These people that work for the New World Order are dedicated in to taking you over and making you a slave or killing you, whichever suits their fancy. i got to ask you tonight, Patriot, before I move to the next part of this, are you dedicated to be a Patriot and, and stand up for what's right, or are you just a pawn and a knucklehead that says in words, and not, not in deed, but in words only, like most Christians are, they're Christian in, the, in, 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 in the going to church on Sunday, Toting the big black Bible like Al Gore did, and maybe donate money for a pew, and then they want to sit on that pew, and if anybody's on it and gets on it before they get there and a new convert, they're going to get PO'd. I've seen it happen, so don't tell me it don't. But if you're a patriot tonight, and you're watching this video, I've got to ask you are you willing to die for what you believe? Are you willing to stand? against enemies, foreign and domestic? Are you willing to say, you know what? I don't give a rat's behind any more about marches or petitions or faxes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to be like this. I'm just going to prepare and get ready. And when the New World Order makes those first killings, I'm going to respond. That's what I... See, because if you're not willing to do that... You might ought to ask yourself whose side you're on, you see. End time watchman, tonight fired up, not worried about nothing, not anxious for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, believing that in everything that uh, you're fighting for and I'm fighting for is not in vain. Don't you touch that dial. You can't do it. I'll be back.